24 hours after it was deemed unfit for infants, the regional governor declared Tokyo's tap water delicious and safe for all. Let's all calm down, he said. Nevertheless, shoppers emptied store shelves, even waited in line for water, with some stores limiting what people can buy. The city began distributing 12 bottles of water each to the families of the 80,000 infants one year and under in Tokyo. Megumi Hitotsi got water for baby Aoi. The level is down again. Does that give you trust? There's no way to get independent information other than from the government, so I still worry the tap water is contaminated, she says. Following days of rain, the city's tap water was found to have unhealthy levels of radioactive iodine, which raises an infant's risk of thyroid cancer. Water workers say the radioactivity now is diluted to safe levels. Picking up grandchildren from daycare, Kenzo Joe isn't buying it. Yesterday, the water is bad, but this morning the water is okay? It's very difficult to believe what they say, and I'm confused. 140 miles away, the source of the problem continues to confound efforts to bring it under control. Today, smoke rose again from reactors 2, 3, and 4, and for the first time from Unit 1. Engineers don't know why. Now, new fears the seawater used to cool reactors may have encrusted them in salt that could be holding heat in, making the situation worse. Today, two workers were rushed to the hospital with radioactive burns after their feet came in contact with water at the plant. And another sobering note. Today, the government official in charge of the nuclear operation warned the Japanese people to stay on their toes. He fears they might be becoming too optimistic, his words, about success in this crisis. Katie? Bill Whitaker in Tokyo tonight.